And we do begin <laughs> with a major meltdown at Southwest Airlines. Holiday travelers still stranded across the U.S., many unable to get flights for days. And already this morning, the airline has canceled more than half of today's flights. This as federal regulators are stepping in to investigate. And in a moment, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg will be joining us live. But first, let's go to Alex Perez at Midway Airport in Chicago. Alex, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Gio. This is what a lot of Southwest terminals across the country look like right now, just hundreds of unclaimed bags. The airline now promising to get things back on track before next week. I'm truly sorry. This morning, a mea culpa from the CEO of Southwest Airlines as the company tries to pull out of a public relations nosedive. Our plan for the next few days is to fly a reduced schedule and reposition our people and planes, and we're making headway. Southwest under scrutiny as the airline struggles to recover from last week's massive storm that led to record delays and thousands of cancellations. Passengers forced to sleep at airports, luggage scattered from city to city, including in Denver, where we find ABC's Mola Lenghi. Well, luggage, as you can see, piling up here at Denver International Airport. Folks who own these bags are still spread out all over the country. Some folks have been stuck here for days, others waiting in lines for hours, and still after all of that, few answers. Kaylin O'Connor's Southwest flight from Oklahoma City to Pensacola was canceled Monday, and the earliest flight Southwest offered her was Thursday. When you go to try to rebook on the Southwest app, nothing is available until January 1st, and they expect you to uh, pay the difference in fare for your ticket. She opted to drive 16 hours to Florida instead. Hopefully they will um, reimburse us for the rental car and um, food and anything else we've, any expenses we've accrued. Southwest already canceling 61% of its flights today as the company tries to reset and get back on track. Again, your bags will not be here. Contributing to the cascade of problems, Southwest operates on a point-to-point -point flight system. Planes hopscotching the country, making it more vulnerable to widespread problems when issues arise. The hub and spoke system used by most other major carriers helps isolate problems. The pilot's union also argues the airline's IT infrastructure is outdated. They have to look at the processes. They're using processes and IT from the 1990s when we were an airline less than a quarter of the size. The U.S. Department of Transportation is now investigating what exactly went wrong and calling on the airline to make it right. President Biden tweeting in part, our administration is working to ensure airlines are held accountable. Go to U.S. Dots dashboard to see if you're entitled to compensation. And Southwest is asking passengers to submit receipts for hotels, meals, and other reimbursements to their website, but they did not say when exactly they expect to respond to those requests. Gio? Almost all of the canceled flights in America today are Southwest flights. Just incredible. Alex, thank you so much. And joining us now only on GMA this morning is U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much for being here and joining us. No doubt about it, we are seeing those incredible scenes just play out across the country. Country. Tell us, do you see this as a meltdown? Yes, you know, that word gets thrown around a, a lot sometimes in, in coverage of travel disruptions, but in this case, it's the only word I can think of to describe what's happening at Southwest Airlines. And we are past the point where they could say that uh, this is a weather-driven issue. Don't get me wrong, all of this began with that uh, severe storm. We saw winter weather affecting the country and uh, severely disrupting all airlines, our ent entire aviation system. But as of today, the rest of the aviation system is down to a rate of about 4% of flights being canceled. And as you reported, we're north of 60% right now uh, when it comes to Southwest. So what this indicates is a system failure, and they need to make sure that these stranded passengers get to where they need to go and that they're provided adequate compensation, not just for the flight itself, and they should absolutely be providing refunds for those flights that were canceled if passengers aren't able to fly or choose not to fly, but also things like hotels, like ground transportation, like meals, because this is the airline's responsibility. And I know you spoke with Southwest CEO Bob Jordan. What's he telling you? 
Well, I asked the CEO what they were doing to get their passengers and their employees out of this mess, and I reminded them of their customer service commitments. You remember earlier this year, especially over the summer, we saw a lot of problems with a lot of airlines, and I pressed them to increase their customer service commitments to put it in writing, and now that they have put it in writing, we can enforce that. So I reminded them of their promises and reminded them that we will be here to hold them accountable to things like taking care of the expenses of those passengers. He pledged to me that they are going to do that in uh, the words of, uh, of his executives go above and beyond the, uh, the letter of their customer service plan. We will be watching closely to make sure that actually happens. Mr. Secretary, we know stranded passengers. They've had to pay thousands of dollars to find places to stay, change their plans. People have had to drive for hours and hours. Uh, tell me, because of these canceled flights, tell me Southwest says it's going to cover what it calls those reasonable expenses. What would you consider reasonable and how will you make sure that DOT actually gets that money or that the Southwest Airlines gets that money back to passengers? Well, we've been able to get passengers hundreds of millions of dollars in refunds this year alone through our rules and through our enforcement. Uh, now, uh, we've never seen a situation, at least not on my watch, with this volume of disruption. So this is going to take an extraordinary level of effort by Southwest, and we will mount an extraordinary effort to make sure that they're meeting their obligations. Think of it from the perspective of a passenger, especially if you are somewhere where you don't know anybody, you're stranded, uh, and the hotels are getting booked up. Uh, it is putting people under extreme stress, especially people traveling with children, and they need to be made whole. Uh, to me, uh, it means that in order to restore that relationship with their customers, Southwest is going to have to not only make them financially whole, but, but find a way to uh, really rebuild Absolutely. trust and confidence. Again, they pledged to me that they're going to do that. I want to see exactly what that means. All right, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, thank you so much for being here. Happy New Year to you and your family, sir. Same to you. Thanks very much. All right. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.